In the first edition of From the West Side, a series dedicated to discussions and conversations regarding West Coast hip hop, we've taken some of our favorite West Coast individuals and discussed their role in helping shape several Grammy nominated projects. Schoolboy Q's Blank Face LP, Malibu from Anderson Pack, BJ the Chicago Kids debut album In My Mind, Maya's Smooth Jones, Terrace Martin's Velvet Portraits, Rihanna's Anti, and more all received major contributions from West Coast producers. First up is THX, with producer placements for legends including Snoop Dogg, Chris Brown, Erica Badu, Warren G, E-40, Neo, and much, much more. The Los Angeles-based producer is featured on BJ the Chicago Kid In My Mind. THX explains why, in his opinion, the West Coast is winning. This, this land is just rich with talent. You know, it's a magnet for talent. It's always been. It's a magnet for culture. It's always been. And, um, you know, we do our music here in L.A. like no one else in the world. You know, if you go to New York, they do theirs different. You go to Atlanta, they do theirs different. But there's just something special about coming to L.A. because it's, it's such a magnet for talent from around the world. So you get this melting pot of styles and skills. And, you know, when I think about, like, uh, this cohort that I'm a part of, of people that are a part of Grammy-nominated efforts, it's just... It just shows that we really absorb the game here, you know what I'm saying? And we really absorb music, and you got to get your music done in L.A. You know, I don't, I don't care where you come from or whatever. You got to come to, you got to come through L.A. You know what I mean? We have just, we, we just have dopeness oozing out of every pore here. You know what I'm saying? You could throw a rock and hit somebody dope in L.A. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you know, you don't hit them too hard because you, you know, they might have to check your file. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Somebody might comb your natural, as E40 would put it. But you know, don't throw the rock too hard. Throw, throw a Nerf ball and hit a musician in L.A. Up next, Mars of 1500 or nothing. If you're not familiar, get familiar. DX covered his criminally underrated mixtape, No Days Off, last year. We even had him as a guest on DX Live, which airs on Facebook Live every Thursday from 6 to 9 p.m. EST. Mars received placements on both BJ's Chicago Kid and Maya's albums. Here's what he had to say. West Coast artists and producers that are a part of all these projects that are Grammy nominated is so awesome because it just goes to show that we're talented <laughs> you know what i'm saying we always have been west coast is trendsetters no disrespect to nowhere nowhere else because you know it's trendsetters everywhere but you know i i'd like to say like you know other than you know the south and other than you know old school artists we were pretty much the first people you know from the dr dre era on you know that incorporated live music and you know musicians and just kind of you know, cultivating the sound and, and bringing it back to what it should be. So, you know, all the people that's been out here grinding, it's people that's been out here for 12 years and you ain't seen them, you know, and they finally getting their, you know, their due. So, shout out to all of the, the people out here in LA, all the people in California, all the people on the West Coast, as well as everybody worldwide that are Grammy nominated because it takes a lot to get to this point and it takes a lot to, you know, deliver great music. So shout out to all the Grammy nominees. Also receiving placements on both BJ Chicago Kids Project and Maya's Project are Mike and Keys. The duo formerly known as the Futuristics also share a multi-room North Hollywood recording studio space with Mars, BJ, and Nipsey Hussle. Roll the clip, James. Like we we just have a lot of musicians here just that just do strictly off of music, just off of feeling and you know, the background of the of the West Coast, you know, Dre, of course, you know, the standard is high here. So, um, you know, everybody wants to give their best musically. So that's that's my opinion on on how the West Coast is, you know, building off off of music. The West Coast has always had the best talent f from the jump, like the musicians, the producers, because just being here in LA, it's a different feel and vibe. So it's like all everybody that we really love, producer wise and music, they're all from LA, pretty much. So every all the producers from LA, it doesn't matter. They're they're who inspire us because that's you know, and I think if they don't get enough credit. For what they do and creating the sounds and the vibes, you know, and I think it's going to be coming to light soon. 
Known for churning out tracks for R. Kelly, Dom Kennedy, J-Rock, Casey Veggies, and Tink, J-Pounds landed No You're Wrong on Schoolboy Q's Blank Face. That one's up for Best Rap Album of the Year. That track also featured Lance Skywalker. Here's what he told DX at his studio in Inglewood. Truth be told, the West Coast been winning and has never really stopped winning, per se. We, we just been doing it in different ways, you know, like... It's been a wave of artists doing it, a wave of producers doing it, you know, film directors, like, you know, but it's now that, it, I think we reached a boiling point. I think it was like maybe like 07, 08-ish, where we weren't really getting the recognition that we deserved on the, the, the bigger platforms. Like, it wasn't really many new artists. They were breaking from the West. So it was like we were feeling cheated. There'd be award shows I'd be seeing. There'd be no West Coast representation. So like naturally, you know, everybody's, you know, developing a chip on their shoulder and starting to work harder, you know. So as soon as one person drew whatever attention, you know, they was getting to the coast, I always knew. I was like, look, they're going to lift up a rock and see it's a bunch of people out here working, a bunch of talented people out here working in different, you know, facets of the culture being displayed. You know, you got Kendrick and then you got YG, they clearly different, you know, and then, but still, you know, killing it, you know. Everybody working hard, working at the same time is gonna create a natural, like, you know, culture within itself. So it's like everybody's bubbling, everybody's stepping out, doing different things and, and, and producing for different artists, more than just West Coast artists. So it's dope, like, and, and I know Atlanta got it, but you know, it's like, we, we, we right, we right there though for the, for the cool run. Mustard, Mustard did us a service. He did, he did his thing. He's still doing his thing, but we, we, we can still kill. Shout out to Metro and, and Southside. And, and, and Zaytoven and all of them, TM88, everybody, you know, but, but the West got it. The West, the West is really uh, on its way back to, to prominence and, and staying there. But, you know, when that Kendrick shit drop, everybody will see. They'll see what's going on with it. Remember Anderson Pack's Malibu? Incredible project. There's a joint on there called Room In Here. It features the game. It was produced by Like. Now, Like began his career as a member of groundbreaking LA group Pack Div. His stock rose again after getting a placement on Good Kid Mad City. He did Sing About Me, Dying of Thirst. Last year, he dropped the pretty amazing Songs Made While High. Even the title is dope. Pun intended. We stopped by his studio in Westwood. Here's what he said. And it's dope to know to see a lot of the, uh, my friends, peers, and contemporaries, like you know, all at the awards. Um, you know, because we all worked hard, and we were, you know, I was there seven, eight years ago, seeing you know cats like BJ the Chicago Kid, you know, in the studio, or you know, like even the homie buddies there. Um, Dude, it's, it's so many of my friends are nominated this year. Tiffany Goucher. Um, dude, I was just with Mellow X last night. He's also nominated. Uh, my boy Dahi. It's dope, man. Like it's, it's like it's like a dream come true. It's, it's just, it goes to show like your hard work doesn't go unnoticed, you know. Here's Willie B. He's a member of TDE's in-house production team and produced a lot of artists outside of his home label. This year, many heard his production on Blank Faces, Black Thoughts. Speaking with DX, the Ichiban Don said this. LA got a bunch of talented people, man. Everybody come to LA to, 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 to catch a vibe and, and, and get a sound. And it is what it is, man. LA been, been good, man. You know, we just needed that, that second win and we finally got the second win and you know, I'm just glad that, that, you know, we back and, you know, hopefully we'll never leave on the other shit, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, we just got to keep it creative and keep the vibes going and, you know, just keep it, keep it right, man. And, and everything that's happening right now is a beautiful thing, man, especially when it's, you know, all the homies, you know what I'm saying? It's dope. It's dope shit when it's all your homies, all niggas that when you see them, you slap at fives and it's good to see them and they happy to see you and you're all achieving and y'all doing well and family's good. It's nothing better than that. Wrapping up, Terrace Martin. Last year, everyone watched Kendrick scoop up Grammy after Grammy for To Pimp a Butterfly, a project he was featured on heavily as a producer. 
This year, not only did he have a role on Blank Face, but his album Velvet Portraits is nominated for Best R&B Album. During our conversation with Martin, he spoke on the West Coast historically being on top. Roll the clip, James. Well, you know, it's funny. I don't, I don't feel any way about the West Coast making any ground because I believe the West Coast has always made a certain amount of ground anyway. See, I don't, see, I don't, I don't follow, I don't follow trend. See, with, with, with a, a, a different people. I won't say a genre of music, but different people follow trend. So when something is not working, they say it's down or it's this or it's that. So I don't, I don't understand people say the West Coast is back or how do I feel about it because we've always been the top contender songwriters since music, since records. We've, we've always been Hollywood, one of the monumental places of recording records. We've always had great studios like Chatless, Henson, and Record Plant. We've always had some of the best songwriters live out here from Patrice Russian to James Fonleroy to Kendrick Lamar to Snoop Dogg to Dr. Dre from Dexter Gordon to Eric Dolphy to Charles Mingus. And the list goes on and on. So for me, those things are different for me. Because when one thing maybe in hip hop, you know, or whatever they called that transitional music at the time, hip hop, you know, maybe that thing wasn't the spotlight on the artists that were doing that particular sound were shined on here, but it was still a crew of people that were working over here. You know, and still putting out beautiful records. And maybe the records that aren't so, this is the West Coast and the West Coast. Sometimes they just write a hit record that the world will sing and that's how you know it's the West Coast because everybody sings along to it and that's art. That's just our culture. Our culture is just breezy, sun, catch on, enjoy life and that's in the music without saying you West Coast. So we've always been definitely on the charts. It hasn't been a year where somebody from LA ain't been on the top 10 chart that I can think about that I know, you know. So, uh, but I am happy that a lot of new artists are getting their just due. I'm happy that BJ Chicago kid is really people are paying attention. And he's not from LA. He's not, he's from Chicago and he has that Chicago thing. But he was stamped and hugged and cared for through the trenches of Los Angeles, California. So we count him as one of ours as well. Anderson Pack, native. So these things, yeah, but you know, these also these guys been been working and been doing other things. But it's great to see new artists and it's great to have the Grammys recognized this whole thing that's going on, this whole thing, and that's a beautiful thing. That's it for From the West Side, Volume 1. Let us know what you guys think about this. We're trying out new shows regularly. Is it dope? What would you like to see from this series? Also, like and subscribe to the channel, and as always, for more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.